Well, I'm a deep sea gangster, underwater prankster, kissing all the girl fish, dissing all the shanksters. So, the other day I went to go check my RO water when I was making it, and I have a little line marked in my brute container, you know, for my gallonage for my water changes. And I got up the next morning, and my water was not even up to my line or past my line. So, is my sensor not working on my RODI XP Aqua Flood Guardian? I don't know. Let's do some tests and find out. So normally this is what I do. So I have my hose right here and my sensor right there. And I always put my sensor just below, about an inch below. There's my line. So, yeah. So let's turn this on and play and this is how I always do it. So, I don't see this getting wet. But yet the other day, it stopped below my line. The water was not even near this. So I always put it, like I said, just like that. So I guess what we'll do now is, we'll move this dude over here somewhere. So, yeah, we'll do that. Let's see. All right, here we go. Do do do. Splash the water. Splash the water. Splash it. Get pour the water on it. Pour, pour the water. Pour the water on it. Splash. Dippy, dippy, dip. Baba. Yeah. Water. 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 Hmm. But you see how much it took. Like I had to pour the water on it for that to happen. So, let's hit play again. Let's start going. And here we are. So now, there we go. One more time. Bat, 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 bat. Oh. But still, that took like a whole lots and lots of splashing. Like I had to really wet it. Okay. All right. So, um, as you can see in the videos, sorry for I didn't tape them in landscape mode, but um, so usually <clears throat> my my sensor is placed about, I don't know, like two inches away from the hose comes in and my sensor's there. But I wouldn't think that the water coming out of my line would splash enough to get onto that sensor to shut it off. Um, it took a lot of splashing with my spoon, you know, to get that thing nice and wet for it to stop working, you know, or shut itself off right like it's supposed to. So I don't know. Um, like maybe that's the case, just that what little bit of water seemed to be, might be splashing up on the sensor shuts it off. But um, usually when I'm making it, I look at it and the sensor is not wet from little splashes coming from the hose. So when it's done, I, I'm saying, so I don't know. Um, maybe that's the case. So just for now, I'm just going to try moving my sensor over, away from my product line and see what happens from then on out all right guys later thanks for watching like comment share and subscribe